It's a great pleasure to introduce our first speaker today, Shandong Wang, who is, um, in addition, a co-organizer of this meeting and uh, helped get this together, and also is the chair of the Carboniferous Subcommission, and this is an official meeting thereof. So we're very pleased to have him here today, and he's going to talk about the status of the Middle Lake Pennsylvania timescale. Shandong, you are on. Okay, good evening, everybody. Uh, this is a kind of very brief introduction of uh, uh, Kashi Movement and Ghazali. I uh, ever asked uh, Spencer, should I just uh, talk the Kashi Movement or I should talk about the both Kashi Movement and Ghazali? Yes, so I, I, I will do today's for both Kashi Movement and uh, Ghazali uh, stages. Next, please. As this is a, a new uh, revised the time scale, I mean, uh, uh, this is GTS 2020. Uh, this is a, just published by uh, last year, 2020, and by uh, first author is Iris Marcos. And uh, uh, as you everybody knows, uh, uh, in Carboniferous, we still have four boundaries uh, should to be defined by GSSPs and ship hoeing in the uh, Mississippi subsystem and uh, Moscow in Kashimovi and Gazali stages in the uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, today we we uh, we just focus. I just focus on. And two stages, Kashi moving and the Gazani stages. And uh, please uh, keep in mind that uh, Kashi moving is a really short time duration, just a 30, 33 million years uh, 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 duration in, in the Carboniferous. And uh, if you compare to the resin, that's a 16.4 million years. So there's a quite short in Kashi moving time, Kashi moving stage. Next, please. And this is a newly revised GTS of the carbon in 2020, I, I said too. And I would like to remind again for the time duration of the Kashi moving stage, which shows a really big difference and unbalanced among stages uh, in carbon So, So, of course, it's another issue. If uh, we, we should consider to subdivide the uh, within or and uh, tonizing into several stages, so this is another issue. And next, please. Next slide, please. Yeah, this uh, figure to show the uh, by by taking environmental and geochemical events during the mid and later period of failure. Uh, as Bia already mentioned, the uh, the cash moving and gazelle time is a, a as is a just a transitional bar, bar uh, uh, plant change times from wetland dominate tropical uh, plants to to the seasonally dry tropical uh, plants. So this is a, a transitional time during cash moving and gazelle, and also this is a just as a, a, during the late Paleozoic uh, graduation time. And uh, if you see the isotope uh, geochemistry, if you stretching isotope, this uh, Kashi moving time is just a, a, a less, less time of a, a high plateau. And just between the Kashi moving and the Gazali time boundary, so from high uh, plateau to decreasing to the to to the uh, later time. So this is a, a, a also is a kind of transitional time. And when you see the carbon isotope, so uh, during the uh, Kashi moving time, especially in end of Kashi moving time, this is a really dramatic negative shift event uh, happened in in the the whole carbon nucleus. A carbon as a top. So uh, next, please. Next slide, please. This is also again to show the carbon as a top. Both 
bulk carbonates and uh, black pod carbonates are both to shoes uh, and uh, from China, Europe, America and North America is all is an, an, uh, to shoes a uh, very, very uh, uh, distinctive uh, negative uh, shift of the carbon isotope. Uh, next slide, please. Next, please. Yeah, when, when we look at the boundary definition by um, uh, marine fossils, uh, uh, we may have several options. In the type uh, section of the name uh, of the name cup, catch moving origin, the base boundary is close to the Conodon Strait for uh, Glasodos or should it be Suadelina, uh, Kui, told me. Uh, this is a sub source. And Fusolini, Fusol, uh, lines this advanced project cities. And, but the other, other scholars may uh, prefer to put the boundary uh, at the bottom, at the base of uh, Ideogranosaurus sagittarius or Ideogranosaurus tobatus, or the, the, uh, in the fossil lines is Monte Palos. The, uh, uh, the third occurrence of Monte Palos. So uh, next slide, please. And the moving and the gazelling time are also critical time of the marine diversity trend. Uh, as, uh, in the well-known diversity pattern, the left side, the cre created by Subkowski in 1984, so based on number of families, there is a slight change in the high plateau of the pattern in, during the carbon different permian time. And if, the, if you look at the right side, the figures is uh, by Alloy et al. 2008, published in Science. In, this is based on PBDB database as a global database, uh, except for very few data from China. This is, so you can you can see the, the around the uh, carbon neutral and permian uh, uh, boundary there's a, a, a distinct uh, change uh, of the biodiversity and uh, recently the uh, uh, and we uh, first also the fan at all the 2020 uh, published in science you can see really really clear really distinctive the uh, diversity uh, change uh, just the, during the carbon, uh, during the cash moving and uh, gazelle time. So the lowest point in when, when the carbon nucleus uh, uh, diversity increasing and uh, uh, up to the cash moving, uh, you can see the diversity uh, uh, pattern is a, a, a big change, is a, a distinct change, is decreasing. And then uh, at the bottom of uh, uh, moving, I mean, uh, end of moving is a diversity, uh, uh, marine invert invertebrate marine diversity also, again, it's uh, increasing up to the uh, early permian, uh, up to the, the tops. So this is a, a time, I mean, the cash moving and the gazelle time is a, a also the, a, in, in terms of uh, marine diversity, also is a kind of a turnover time. And next, please. And I uh, combine two patterns into one figure to more clearly to show the change over of both diverse patterns, uh, ones uh, by Alloy et al. published in 2008 in science, another is by Fan et al. 2020 in science. So in the, uh, during the cover, uh, during the cash moving and the gazelle time, the uh, marine, uh, invertebrate, invertebrate marine diversity change very clearly. And the next slide, please. Next. So I also uh, would like to uh, to uh, to show that uh, if we want to uh, define a, 
stage GSS P, we should follow say, these criteria. The first is the boundary has, has to be defined using a primary marker. It's usually we use the, the uh, species. And the second is the outcrop has to have an adequate thickness. And the third, sedimentation has to be continuous without any change in phases. And fourth, the outcrop should be unaffected by tectonic and sedimentary movements and metamorphism. And five, the outcrop has to be accessible to research and free to access. But in Kashi moving and gazelle time, uh, change over point of ge geological setting, including change of diversity, uh, biodiversity, and uh, during the cash moving time, the drop and uh, start from gazelle time is increasing. And also, it is a turnover of geochemistry, and uh, is, uh, mainly is uh, in base of uh, cash moving uh, is a sequence boundary in 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 China and in other uh, platforms uh, in other territories. And the next slide, please. And for the uh, catch moving stage, the GSSP uh, uh, in the traditional uh, area in uh, Moscow Basin, the catch moving uh, can uh, recognize into three sub stages. In the lawyer is a the Kilvia Kinian and uh, the second is the Hamon Hawking <laughs> Reed and uh, Hamon Nikin and uh, Dologo Milovin. And uh, so uh, uh, there are some two options to put the GSSP in, in, in the, in the, in the, in the two levels. The point A is uh, close to the traditional base of the country moving stage. And uh, second, close to the second order uh, sequence boundary corresponding to the major unconformity level in many areas. And point B is more potential for intra and intercontinental correlation based on chronodons. But we don't know the, uh, uh, how, how about the fossil lines or fossil needs. So later on, I think uh, Katsumi Ueno will we we give a uh, 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 talk as uh, speed on this. So I, I put the duration, cash moving duration is just 33 million years. Uh, this is quite a very short time duration. And if we put a point B, is a, should a, the cash moving uh, uh, stage will be very, very short duration time. And the next slide, please. Next, please. And this is to show uh, 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 the new structure type of cash moving stage. This is uh, uh, published by Gorivia et al. 2009. I think later on, the Gorivia will give a, a more detail about this. So this is a flexible section. Uh, I will briefly to show the, uh, each uh, index fossils, their occurrences, and uh, uh, and the holes is a list of logic uh, column. And in the lowest substage, there's uh, two formations. The lowest uh, low one is silver lower formation and upper one was Collins formation. And uh, you can see the Prochetocetes subsivaglinoides is uh, uh, the first appear in this substage then the uh, Suadelina sub exosos, the colonodons, appear later, a little bit later. And the advanced, uh, and more advanced approach cities, the approach cities, should the appear a little bit higher in the second formation, the Voskrensenka formation. And uh, the, uh, then in the second substage, Monte Palos, Pala Monte Palos, so appear in the uh, second formation of the second uh, substage. So this is uh, from uh, base of 
liver lower formation, then the uh, two conodonts appear as the Ediogonosaurus sagittarius and there's a, a little bit up the Ediogonosaurus tubatus. Then the uh, typical the, uh, this substage uh, for some the multipolus, multipolus appear in the middle of uh, 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 liver lower formation. I think later the Bolivia will, will, will uh, give more detail talk. So this is a, a new type section of Kashimori stages is a, a, a biological successions. And the next step, next slide, please. Next is, yeah. And I forgot to uh, put the, uh, the origin of this figure. This is by uh, uh, Grigori uh, Warman, 2013. The Pinchifania to lawyer permit fully need by stratigraph of mid-continent America. And uh, I just uh, to show, uh, would like to show the portrait cities in mid-continent region of uh, USA. They have all, no any portrait cities uh, was, was found. Only in Rocky Mountain region of the Western United States the portrait cities appear. This is uh, in, appear in uh, latest, second latest uh, fossil need zone, the Bedina, Hawasi uh, to uh, Bedina Gerti, the late of this zone, uh, then uh, continue up to the latest uh, Bedina zone, latest is the dismal, dismalizing zone. So this is only uh, occurrence of approaching cities. The so next slide, please. And in South China, in from shallow water phases in South China, uh, the catch moving uh, 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 boundary usually we put it in the uh, boundary of Huanglong formation and the Chai Chai formation, or the waning formation and the marking formation. This is the base of uh, uh, Marvinjing regional series, set, set series, including only one stage, it's a short sample stage. And as a base is uh, defined by project cities sub or uh, the other place, we, it's, it's not a detailed study, but the Monte Palos winning Gika also appeared very close to the base of uh, Marvinjing or base of uh, uh, short of size stage. And this figure is from Ueno, Katsumi Ueno at all the 2013. It's a very detailed uh, sedimentology work and, uh, uh, and some fossil need work. So the uh, advanced project cities SPB here so appear in, in the uh, uh, sub, uh, um, Subsurface, sub area, uh, surface uh, above this surface, and the uh, primitive portrait cities also appear in the lower level of this boundary. And the next slide, please. Next slide. And in slope phases, in, uh, <clears throat> in very famous notching section in Guizhou, South China. The, uh, along the boundary of uh, uh, Moscovian Kashimovian uh, stage, there we have a very abundant uh, conodonts appears. Yeah, from uh, from uh, we uh, establish several state uh, several conodont zones. The so lowest one is Swadelina subexercios, and then Swadelina. So, uh, Macarena, and also we have the Ediogonosaurus Heckley and Ediogonosaurus Tobatos and Ediogonosaurus Sagittarius in whole, whole those uh, most important index fossils in, in uh, taxa of colonies appear in the same section. And uh, in the meantime, we also <coughs> contain, uh, this section contains some fossil needs and uh, including project cities and the Monte Palos in around the Swadlina uh, sub zone. 
so this is uh, uh, and uh, about the contents of the this boundary the Ke Yi Hu will, will give a talk later in more detail to show this section and the next slide please so it's a concluding remarks for the question moving uh, 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 Jesus P and we have the two options point A and point B point A is close to the FAD of Condon Swadilina Sabiqisosa and Fusoli need is approached cities and this is close to the traditional base of the stage and uh, if we point uh, put the base uh, point B is close to the FAD of Conodons, Idiogonosodos, Hikli, and Idiogonosodos, Tobatos, or Idiogonosodos, Sagittarius. And we have uh, the Fusulini, the Monte Palos, first occurrence of Monte Palos. And this is more potential for correlation based on Conodons, but we don't know this is a, a, a potential for correlation by uh, fossil lines. So this is a, a basically a uh, very really brief introduction for the question moving uh, stage. Uh, 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 <coughs> so next I will uh, uh, give a more uh, brief introduction for the uh, gazelle. Next slide please. And uh, I will uh, introduce in, in three parts. In this taxon, idiogonosaurus uh, uh, simulator and the key conodons from KG boundary interval and the fossil lines along the KG boundary interval, uh, uh, mainly in, in South China, in uh, Naqing section and uh, Nara section, and the sedimentary or camel stratigraphy and the event. So, the, and the next slide, please. And this is a <coughs> In North American situation about the uh, uh, simulator and uh, uh, our colonists specialist uh, already uh, 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 proposed the idiogonosaurus abdivitus is a, a, a direct ancestor of idiogonosaurus simulator, but in North America, in mid continent, idiogonosaurus. Uh, Abdivitus appear a little bit uh, uh, lower level, and uh, and then the Idiogonosaurus simulator appear as a, a, a up more upper, and uh, uh, these two uh, species uh, determine the two species that uh, have the two at uh, three sarcosms. So this is a, uh, possibly is not a director. Uh, appearance, uh, uh, direct lineage of uh, from uh, abdivitus to the simulator. Next slide, please. And uh, South China in Naqing, Naqing and Nanlao section is uh, this, this figure to show the uh, uh, geo, uh, uh, paleogeological, uh, paleogeographical uh, location. And uh, Naqing and Nanlao section is very close. Uh, uh, exposed as a uh, stretched distance is about uh, 20 kilometers away. Yeah, next slide, please. And uh, here we, we can uh, the uh, the Naqing section, Naqing and the Nalao section, especially Naqing section. I, I would like to say this is a, 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 a really good section for the. Uh, get, uh, base of gazelle stages, and uh, we can uh, find all the many, uh, 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 all many uh, colonies in, in in this section, and the detailed description and the colonies by stratigraphy can be seen in Qi at all in 2020, published in papers in paleontology, the gym. <clears throat> Jim also is a college printer also. And uh, through a very detailed morphometric analysis, similar uh, idiogonosaurus simulator specimens from the Naqing and the Nalo sections represent a morphotype that is more similar to the proposed ancestor idiogonosaurus uh, abdivitus. So it is possible that is 
the South China EDR simulator has a slightly earlier first occurrence than in North America, so representing a time closer to the true FAD of the EDR glass simulator. And uh, uh, this section, notching section, actually is uh, um, uh, measured by uh, uh, many uh, American colleagues, including the uh, 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 passed away the uh, Richard Lan and his wife, and also uh, uh, Barry Richard, and we meter by meter to 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 measure this section and to make a pin. So this is a, a really good section. Uh, next slide, please. And this is, this is to show the uh, the horses in a uh, very important index. Texas of uh, Ida Glasodos from either Udal Alliances, Abdividos, uh, and Simulator, and others. Next slide, please. And uh, this is from South China, Ida Glasodos. And uh, next slide, please. And this, this figure to show the uh, in uh, in notching section, there are two groups of Idiogonosaurus species called occur in the Kashimumi and the Gazani uh, boundary interval in notching. So one is named as the Idiogonosaurus lodiensis group, which is composed of several endemic species and are known from only South China so far. The other is a cosmopolitan species or Idiogonosaurus sim simulator group. So this boundary level is associated with a distinct negative uh, shift of the carbon isotope execution. And the next slide, please. Next slide, please. So uh, uh, also, this is, uh, next slide, please. And uh, if we, we uh, see the fossil needs, and uh, the base of gazelle is uh, uh, characterized by first occurrence of the Rosalitis and Rosicas and the Rosalitis stocking bug. This is uh, come for advanced uh, uh, Rosalitis. And the next slide, please. And in notching section, we also have the Rosalitis in the uh, turbidite, coarse grained turbidite bed. So uh, you, you can see in 20. 257.3 meters in the uh, a little bit higher than the, the boundary by colonies, so indicating an age of gazelle. And the below the boundary also we have the, the other treaty cities for needs. And the next slide, please. And in narrow section also we have uh, several beds containing the fossil needs. Including treaty cities and crazy fossilina. And the next slide, please. Also, this is also in that narrow section, we have the rosalites and treaty cities. Next slide, please. And this is to show the uh, Usoka section and uh, uh, this, 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 this is the simulator and really. Uh, this is a very short Kashi moving in, uh, interval from the uh, Kashi moving uh, boundary, what's called Kashi moving, to the uh, gazelle base of gazelle. Next slide, please. And the next, please. Next slide, please. Ashur Raja. And this is to show the very, very close view of sedimentology beds. And next slide, please. In this is notching section, in that one, the up one is narrow section. And the next one, please. Okay, this is to show the, the, the middle continent. And the next one, please. Next. And this is also to show the, the by change. And uh, next one, please. I, I, I will give, I will talk the last one, please. Next one, I have no time anymore. Yeah, next. Next. And, and the next. 
It's the last one. You, okay, this is to concluding. The KG Kashimoto gazetting boundary can be marked by the FAD of EDR glasol simulator with lineage of EDR glasol abdivitals to EDR glasol simulator. And this level is close to the first occurrence of advanced rosalitis, such as rosalitis rosicus or similar forms. And this level is coincided by a distinctive negative shift of the carbon isotope excretion. And there's a Nachin or Naro section of South China, which is a slope succession, contains abundant condoms and it records the most complete evolutionary lineage of condoms in the KG boundary interval. Thank you. This is my all of my talk. Thank you, Shondo, very much. Um, <clears throat> do we have any questions? I don't have any, uh, no one has posed a question in the chat. Um, if someone would like to pose uh, some questions, we're, we have 10 minutes for discussion. If you send the chat to me, I'll, I'll see the questions. Um, I, I may show my ignorance here, um, but I'll, I'll ask something about the negative carbon isotope excursion, not really being a geochemist and seeing that called on repeatedly for, for various kinds of things. What do you think is happening there um, uh, as far as the ocean chemistry goes or what, whatever's what's driving that negative carbon excursion and why would it be linked to biological changes? Uh, actually, uh, very recently, the, uh, uh, the Chen Jietao and, uh, and uh, uh, the colleagues, including me and uh, 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 Isabel Montan, we, we submit a, a paper to, sh to show what's, what's the reason around the uh, Kashimoyin bound, uh, Gazelin boundary, the, 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 the carbon shift carbon negative shift and uh, this is a, a, a kind of a warming event along the uh, Kashimori and the Gazelin boundary. So we, 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 we can see the, uh, 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 yeah, this is a already a revised, a revised submission uh, to, to, to agenda. So a general, so uh, a general, yeah. So uh, we, we will see if we, uh, if can we publish that paper, it's, it's, it's very good. We, we hope it's, uh, our explanation is uh, reasonable or not. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you. I, I've got a question from Spencer Lucas also. Spencer, if you would unmute yourself and turn on your video. Okay. Um, I have a question about <clears throat> another time scale, and that's the time scale during which these GSSPs will finally be approved. Because as you know, um, the discussion of the base of the Casimovian and the base of Gigeli, and it's been going on for decades. So my question to you, Shandong, is uh, what, what's the plan? When are we gonna get these GSSPs agreed on? I mean, because in my opinion, we could agree on the Gigeli and GSSP today in Naqing using Simulator. And it's it's clear there's a difference in the Casimovian GSSP. So what's what's your plan as the chairman of the subcommission? Will this happen in a year, two years, please? <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, uh, I, I already discussed with the uh, European Qi and uh, uh, two years ago, I discussed also with the Katsumi Ueno and the Hido's Fusolini and Xi Yubin is doing condoms. We hope this year or, or, at, uh, or, or early of next year, we, we will give, we will uh, uh, finish a proposal to do this. And, and we, we hope so. so. We will push these things for the gazelle boundary. But for cash moving, I have uh, no idea uh, going on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. For the gazelling, I think we, we, we will start to, to, to write a proposal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how far apart? I mean, there's two possible Casimovian bases, right? Yeah. And I know we all have opinions. I mean, my opinion is I want the Casimovian base to be the same as the Missourian base, because this is the American 
point of view. <laughs> and I know there's a big difference among, I mean, what's your sense? I mean, do most specialists favor the younger Casimovian base or the older Casimovian base? Uh, in my own opinion, I, I prefer to put the, the, the order uh, because uh, I, I, several times I, I, I give a remind this is a 3.3 uh, million years is quite a sh short, short time duration. If we put the younger one, is you catch moving become maybe 2 million years or, or a little bit more than 2 million years. It's uh, too short. Is this is just a, just a, uh, just how can I say it, physically and uh, I, 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 of course we 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 should follow the science so we we will see the next four talks all uh, all we we focus on the base of a question moving and they will give the more evidence what's the, what's the preference as uh, based on condoms or the fossil line fossil line, fossil lines maybe it's younger is better. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Yeah. Don't you think the younger base is more easily correlated than the older base? Yeah, this is a, yeah, this is true. Yes, more easily. It's that's true. So we will see. Right, because my, you know, my philosophy is short stages are better than long stages. <laughs> okay. So Thank it, doesn't you, bother, it doesn't bother me if Casimovian becomes shorter it becomes a problem for the Moscovian because that becomes uh, longer. You know, longer stages don't give us as good of time resolution. Yes, I, 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 read, I read your paper. You published it in, in newsletter of stratigraphy last year. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you prefer to use like 20, more than 30 stages or something like this. So anyway, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, ideal, the ideal time scale to me is going to have very short, intervals and that would give us as long as we can correlate them you know but it's and, very, very difficult to correlate i think it's, if we're too short it's more difficult to 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 make correlation i think globally it, right right you know, right it's that that by content it by correlating by content is more difficult when it's shorter but okay. the correlation potential of the younger casimovian base is so much higher than the lower mm -hmm. To me, you know, I go back to Romani, correlation precedes definition, right? Mm -hmm. So I would argue that we should choose them. I mean, I recognize that the problem, the big argument, I think, against the younger base is simply it makes what was Casimovian for, who knows, 100 years, some of it becomes Moscovian. So it makes mm -hmm. them, it messes up our bookkeeping. Our bookkeeping, our records are not as good. But um, I mean, I know I'm getting ahead of the game here because we're going to hear talks about this. But and I'm setting up uh, Natalia to to tell me why I'm wrong because I would argue the most correlatable boundary is the one we should choose. That that would be my argument. Okay, you will see. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you.